Hello everyone, welcome to another action figure unboxing. Today we have a Marvel Legends series double pack box set. Captain America and Peggy Carter. And it's based off the Marvel Studios movie Captain America The First Avenger. So we're going back all the way to the first ever MCU movie in the timeline. And I think it's quite fitting they've released this figure box set this time. So Marvel are celebrating their 80th anniversary. And of course the first Captain America movie was set in World War II, which was around 80 years ago. So I'm very excited to finally have this box set in front of me. Because it's the first time we have Captain America in this attire. And also I believe it's the first time we have a Peggy Carter action figure. So as well as the figures you can see there are plenty of accessories to go through. But first we're going to take a look on the back of the box. So on the back of the box you can see they've used real photos of the characters. So on the left is Captain America, on the right is Peggy Carter. There's also a short description of the characters as well as a description in different languages. In the middle they've used a really cool photo of Captain America. And then for the two sides we have the photos of the two characters which look pretty cool. So we're going to open it on the right hand side. Let me slide it out. So you can see they've also got a really nice red background and then we can take the accessories and the figures out of the box. So here are the accessories included starting on the left we have a shotgun, a knife, a pistol, Captain America's helmet, the sample shield unpainted as well as Captain America's first shield. So here are the two action figures side by side and I think it looks pretty cool as a set maybe even better when I put on the accessories. Now in terms of the likeness to the actor and actress, I wouldn't say it's 100% accurate but I think they've done a pretty good job overall so it kind of resembles Chris Evans and Hayley Atwell. So let's first focus on Captain America. So of course they've gone for the younger look of Chris Evans here and I think it's a pretty good sculpt. It probably matches well with the Marvel Legends Endgame version which I'll show you a bit later on. But overall I really like the look of this figure, so it's got the brown leather jacket, it's got the pocket for the gun, and overall it's a really cool figure to have. This is probably not the most accurate one to the actress. I think her jaw is slightly bigger, but in terms of the actual texture of the hair, the lipstick, you can definitely tell it's Hayley Atwell. As for the actual jacket, I think it was slightly darker in the movie, but... It's not too bad. So we have a helmet for Captain America but I don't think it will fit that well on this one because I think it's meant to be for the other head sculpt because his hair is sort of swooped to the side whereas the second head sculpt is sort of brushed to the back. So I'm just going to take off this head sculpt and this pops the helmet slightly better. And just looking at it like this that looks pretty good for a Chris Evans figure. So we have a knife here which I can put on the side of the boot. Big shotgun which you can put on. Captain America's pistol which we can just pocket on the side. And then of course we have the shield which is like the other Marvel Legends except that it's not painted obviously. And then we have the first shield which he actually puts on the back of his body. Not sure if we can actually do that here which we'll probably test out a bit later on. And then of course the pistol can also be used for Peggy. So in terms of the actual articulation, of course you get bends on the arms and then of course on the hand it's also can get a bend and also a swivel. The arms obviously rotate all the way around. Her waist does go all the way around. Nothing happens on the bottom half. As for the legs, they do bend, but the skirt is sort of restricting it. You can't really bend it too much. That's as far as it goes. Of course, you can't really push it forward because the skirt is in the way. Also, the foot, you can push them forwards and backwards. It's pretty much your standard articulation. Get the rotation on the arms and head. There's a swivel at the top, there's a bend. Then the bottom half is a rotation. As for the body, it goes all the way around. It's pretty loose. You can actually take off this attire here. I actually didn't know that. 
so you can just be wearing the leather jacket that's pretty cool as well then the bottom half you of course can rotate his full leg then the top half of the leg actually has a swivel you can rotate it all the way around then the bottom of the leg of course they bend let's just take out the knife as for the foot you can push it forwards downwards and the bottom half of the boot also has a rotation this is just your standard shield of course the unpainted one will look pretty cool on the side and this is actually a battle damaged Captain America shield with all the smudges and mud which is okay the effects don't look too bad but I probably wish that you can actually attach it to the back but I don't think you can this is the Avengers Endgame one probably 90% accurate and it looks pretty cool it looks like he's from the Civil War movie so this is how the action figures look like with the box set as a backdrop and it probably looks better than the red one that was included in the box set because I really like how they've used the real character photos here I think they do resemble the characters there's plenty of accessories Captain America is pretty flexible you can take off the hat you can take off the strap you can put a pistol or a shotgun you can put the knife on the side and of course they've included two shields which I'm really happy with in terms of the negatives for Captain America you probably can't wear the actual shield on the back maybe I'll figure a way to do that a bit later on in my own time as for Peggy Carter I think they've done a okay job with this although I think the actual face cup could have been better I think she has a slightly wider jaw as for the skirt I think it's sort of limiting her way of moving and also she's wearing high heels so it's pretty hard to stand at some points but overall it's pretty cool and I'll probably give this box set a 8.5 out of 10 so I do quite like this box set so I think that's about it for today if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this so I'll be doing toy hunts and figure reviews and I hope to bring you the SH Figure Arts Avengers Endgame figures for Professor Hulk and Hawkeye as soon as it's released. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.